Hey guys, and welcome back to Countdown Vampires. So, when we last left off, we found ourselves an M60, because, sure. Uh, we also have loads of shotgun shells as well. And um, we did manage to put some vampires to sleep. We made it to Merlin Town. And we read a file, which was, let's be fair, just a load of old guff. Now... Let's continue opening some more doors. Oh, supplies. Now, something is being very grumbly and growly. I wonder if we're going to bump into that something sooner or later. Uh, we found another belt of ammo for the M60. Oh, yeah, we've actually got the M60 equipped as well. Very tempted to try this puppy out, but I don't... Hey, the log house key. I don't really want to waste it. I don't know how like powerful it is. Oh, hey, sir. Uh... Let's just save the M60 for now. Just because... Uh, thank you, sir. May I have another... Jeez, they really hurt, don't they? They really hurt. Oh, God. Another one. We have more. Very rare, apparently, to actually find uh, one of these vampires on their own. They always seem to come in pairs, or at least triplets. Come on, matey boy. I think a lot of that actually missed. Damn it. Okay, fine, fine. All right, there's some uh, white goo for you, white goo for you. And white goo for you. We've got plenty in the tank. All right. It would be nice if they actually, you know, changed. Oh. Eh, I guess. Let's see our candy bar. Candy bar? That was very American of me. Um, hmm. Right. Well, I mean, I guess we saved everyone in here. Which is a thing. Ooh. More. There's loads of stuff. I like all these packages. Yes, we will definitely take the magnum bullets. Absolutely, we will take the mag... Uh, oh, guest house key, yeah. We'll try and remember where the guest house was now. What else have we got? Ooh! That was in the nick of time. Now, how do we change weapons again? That's it. Right, it was circle. Of course it was. I mean, like, what else would it have been? Cool. Right, let's go. We've got another guest house key. I mean, they should have just called this a game about keys, really. Because I know it's following the Resident Evil formula. Uh, that's very obvious. But come on. Now, where was the guest house? Right, it was over the other side. Yeah. Of course it was. We remember. We remember things about stuff. Let's go. Let's go see what's in here. Probably more zombies. I guess. I used the key to the guest hat. Oh. Um. Hello? What's wrong? The, the vampires! Get in the trunk of the car. It's safer there than anywhere else. <laughs> But I want to be with you. Oofed. Until I get you home safely, do as I say, all right? We can see each other after all this. All right. I'll wait for you. <laughs> Good girl. That's it. You go. <laughs> oh, my God. She's actually in the trunk of the car. Uh, or as we would call it in the UK, the boot. She's in the boot. Um, that's probably not going to be a very comfortable stay. I'm going to be honest. Now, does that mean there's vampires in the sh Oh, we can't go back to the shop anyway, can we? Wait a minute. How did she follow? Okay. Stop questioning the game, okay? Just accept it as law. Things happen. You move on. So we still got a blue moon. I don't think the moon changes color. Ooh, hello, sir. How about I introduce you to my shotgun? Oh, it's one of them. 
We've had these guys before. They ain't anything special. Yeah, that's what I thought. Get out of here with that bullshit. Three, though. Hmm, I guess. Three on one. I like those odds. Oh, sweet. We get loads of this stuff now. We get loads of tranquilizers. Uh, yes, please. Just gonna load up our bloody M60 with every... Everything. Okay. So we have nearly... Nearly a hundred rounds. Actually, we've got some more for that, haven't we? Here's a rocking chair. It'd be pretty cool if we could just, you know, take a take a few minutes and just relax in the old rocking chair, but I guess not. Ooh, more stuff. Well, this place is definitely infected. Uh, yeah, we'll take the drink. Throw that in there. Now... Okay, it's getting dark in here. I think. Oh, right. Really? There's just like three doors here? Okay. That's fine. Oh, hey, ladies. Well, let's try and save them if we can. Right. Is it just the two of you? Kind of unusual, just have two. Oh. God, they still take so many shots to put down. Like, we're not even hitting them, I don't think. It's so hard to, like, see what you're actually hitting and what you're not. And that's on this spiffy emulator. So, imagine how hard it would be on an actual console. Wow. I, I mean, I'm, in, I'm enjoying all of these little packages. Yes, we want more Magnum Bullet. Game's throwing ammo at us like no tomorrow. A file. Ugh. Moses' diary. Recently, Sheck and Barb brought the kids for a visit. It had been a while since I'd uh, seen the grandkids. They've gotten so big, it, re it just really amazes me. It was one of the nicest days I've spent in a long while. That day, something also happened that made me very happy. I finally got that... Oh, bourbon. I've been waiting for some time. For, uh, my son bought it for me. For a bourbon lover like myself, there couldn't have been a finer gift. It was a day full of happiness. I hadn't been so excited for ages. I could barely get to sleep. <laughs> that bourbon would help with that. Uh, since I didn't want the bourbon to get stolen, I stowed it on shelf 11 in the storage area and locked the door. Nobody knows the locker's combination but me. Just five little numbers. Well, if I ever do forget, I'll just check the instruction book. Then I'll remember. Tonight, I'll have another few nips of bourbon before I go to sleep. Why would you be paranoid that your bourbon's going to get stolen? I mean, even if it's a very rare, very expensive drink, you're only in a small little town. How many people honestly know that you have? The brownest of the brown liquors. Hmm. But okay. Mr. Paranoid doesn't want his booze being stolen. If we need to remember what the code is, we need to check the instruction manual. But what instruction manual? We may never know, kids. Okay. Ooh. Uh, bourbon management chart. Okay. Uh, that doesn't really say anything to me. That's a load of gobbledygook. Very hard to read. Ch ah, key to the chainsaw shelf. Very nice. And we'll take the drink as well, because why not? So this is some... Ooh. Some kind of workshop, which is very interesting. Did I just drink that? Bugger, I wanted to... Ah, it's fine. Okay. Oh, there's another item there. Hey! 
Nice not to miss those. So, we're going to get a chainsaw. Very excited about this. This prospect of getting a chainsaw. Groovy. Hmm. Door is locked to the bathing area. Oh, that sucks. Probably full of vampires anyway. Oh, sorry, zombies. Right, let's go. How do we get back then? Oh. Hello. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear, dear, oh, dear, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Uh, right, let's soften these up with the AR. Wow, they're really freaking tough. They're really tough, man. Okay, right, let's stun them. Come on, people. Get up. This is a horror. Ah, there we go. Nice. Okay, that'll do. That'll do. Right, let's just shoot a load over her back and over his back. Uh, we've got plenty to share. Hey, look, two packages. Ah, oh, god damn it. We've got loads of these bloody drinks now, and I, I wasted the bottle. Like, can we not keep the bottle afterwards? Would that not make sense? Is that 4D thinking? Hey, you know what? Might be worth giving the AR a rest. We have, whoa, we have 80 shotgun shells. Jesus. Okay. And this door, oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, seems the number is wrong. Uh. So, what's the instruction manual? Does he mean like the bourbon manual thing? Bourbon management chart. Is this what he means by instruction manual? I can't even read that. I can't even read that. Don't think we've missed anything. Uh, should I just look this code up? Like, because you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so they're in order. Right. So what? 1805. 18. How many numbers was it? It's at five numbers. I think it was five numbers. Uh, combination lock. Yeah, it was five numbers. But. I mean, I'm guessing we don't have the instruction manual. It's not one of those moon logic things, is it? Where he actually means you have to check the instruction manual of the game. Do you remember when Resident Evil, um, when Metal Gear Solid did that? When it tells you to check the CD case for the codec code. And I was stuck as a kid on that for a good little bit. And they actually meant check the fucking CD code. Um... 
on the CD case. It actually meant you've got to turn the physical game box over and the code was on that, which was really clever. Apart from the fact the first time I played it, I rented it from a, a game shop because uh, I always used to rent my games from Stop and Shop. Uh, and you obviously got the disc, but you it, it came in like a generic plastic case. So I couldn't progress. <laughs> yes. Funny that. All those years. Later. Well, I think a few months after that, I actually bought the game myself. Uh, well, or my parents bought it for me because that's how things worked back then. And boy, did I feel stupid. Or maybe I read, read it up in a book. Uh, one of the magazines, How to Get Past That. I can't remember. Right. Uh, okay. So we're stuck. Because we've been everywhere, I think. I'm sure we have been everywhere. Hmm. Can't go into the bathroom. Room. Been in the guest house. Apart from the bathroom. Uh, right. One second, guys. I'm, I'm, I've got a feeling there's some bullshit going on with this. Hang on. Okay. So I've thumbed through a guide. I've had a quick walk around. I've just loaded the safe state for us being here. I don't know how you find out the code. Uh, to be honest, I've gone through a lot of our files and things. In the end, uh, I looked up a guide, and. In the guide, it doesn't even tell you how you know what this code is. It just tells you the number for the code. It doesn't say, oh, by the way, if you go back to file, blah, 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 or look in this room here, or blah, blah, blah. I was thinking that we're not meant to do this yet. But according to the guide, yes, we should know the code. So I've written the code down and I really hate to do this this way, but I don't know what the code is. I have no idea. But the code, it, well, I do know what the code is, but I have no idea how, how we know what this code is. And to be honest, you know, I don't really give a shit. I'm just going to put the code in like that. Otherwise, we're going to be stuck here for a while and I'm good. But that's the code. It's 45911. If anybody does know how you're meant to know that, there's obviously some, oh, hello. There's obviously some like moon logic puzzle somewhere that I have missed or not understood or something, but hey, it is what it is. Right, let's save these souls. Can we? Okay, right, these guys should all be wounded now. I say that hopefully. All right, she's gone. Oh, okay. These are all female. I thought they were blokes, actually. There seems to be more like female enemies in this game than male, which is definitely something I'm noticing. And, you know, I was thinking about this uh, earlier. There isn't actually any female uh, zombies in the first Resident Evil game, which kind of blew my brains when I was thinking about it the other day. I mean, it's obviously something that I, I already know, but yeah, it wasn't until Resident Evil 2 that we got female zombies, and we only had the one female model. Right, so there's a bunch of bulb and bottles filled here. All of them seem to be filled. Oh, dude, nice. There's a bourbon missing from just one place. Which is the one that he's stashed somewhere else. Which we're going to have to go back and get. Oh, shower room key. Okay. Which is the one he's obviously stashed somewhere. So we'll go get it. There's a lot of people here. And, you know, you can understand the science with the actual casino. Because, you know, it was a big opening ceremony party thing. But in this little village, there's like loads of people in like one room. 
for one house. This is like a guest house with 678,000 people in each room. Slight exaggeration, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, was it that one? No. <laughs> no, no, it was not. You had, you had three doors to choose from. Yeah, you had a one in three chance of getting it right, and you fucked it up. It was this one, wasn't it? <sighs> Pardon me. Well, aren't I stupid? And of course, the old Titan luck comes into uh, play right there. Right, what's in the shower room then? Okay. Doesn't appear to be any enemies in here, at least. Right, what have we got? Oh! Okay. Yeah, she looks like quite a nice... Quite a nice little picture there. Empty bottle. Not really sure what we can use the empty bottle for. I would assume... That we could fill it up. That looks like a really inviting bath, actually. I don't know. There's something about it, the way that, that nice nice water sound effect and, and that nice steam and the water was a very pleasing blue. Uh, that's empty. Is it, Should it be empty? I guess we're going to go see if we can put it on the uh, bottle rack. Why do I get a feeling that we're going to have to do a puzzle here? Because we found that bourbon puzzle thing. Nothing really happened. There's a bunch of bourbon filled. All of them seem to be filled. Yeah, so we need to fill this one up. Okay, surely it makes sense that we fill it up with the water that's coming out of the bath like why I'm trying to think if if not where else could we fill that bottle surely we have to put it in here because we can't really go or do anything else at this point Uh, there's like nothing in here. I mean, I'm guessing it doesn't have to be bourbon. Be like anything, right? Nothing in there at all. <sighs> we fill it in the sink? It just seems really obvious that we like fill the water here. Um, like, why would this just be running if we couldn't do anything with it? Do we need to get something else? I mean, you could, like, if you needed to fill this bottle, you could fill it. Ah, do we need, ah, do we need, like, a cork or something, maybe? Is that what's missing? Uh... Right, okay. So we have a bottle. And we have... Uh, we must have missed something. Surely. There was nowhere else we could fill anything from, though. I'm just going to check the guide to see if... I've got a feeling we fill it up in that in that water that's draining out of the sink, uh, out of the bath. Like, I mean, surely? One second, guys. Right, actually, after just running around quickly, double-checking everything, uh, there's a 
keg here that we can interact with. If you push the button, there's a barrel. It seems there's some bourbon left inside. Okay. If you push the button, there's a barrel. It seems there's some bourbon left inside. What button? What button are we pushing? Oh, we actually have to use the item? Have we had to use an item before? Maybe. Right, I don't know about you, but that sounded like some very foamy, thick bourbon. Yeah, that, <laughs> that didn't sound good. I don't know, that sounded like uh, we've just poured out a bottle of foam. Okay. Right, that was a bit weird that we actually had to select the bottle. Uh, personally, I would not be drinking any of that stuff. I mean, this guy was obviously a bit of a, a bit of a fan of the brown stuff. Okay, so now do we have what we need? I mean, this guy was, I mean, look at all this booze that this guy's got. Jesus. Oh, that actually had a... Right, that actually had um, numbers on the shelves, which was interesting. Oh, hello. Oh, shit in hell. Get the fuck out of here, guys. Two shelves. All right, so where does this rabbit hole... Oh, we're actually injured. Where does this rabbit hole go? Uh, we are actually injured. Pretty, not too badly, I suppose. Let's get the hell out of here. Still got a blue moon. So that still means they're going to be slow, but... Ooh. Where are we now, then? Another belt. We'll take it. 100 rounds. Have you noticed since we've left the casino that there's literally no reason for us to have that money? Like the whole point of gambling and stuff just seems silly. We'll definitely drink the drink. So all that time that I spent gambling us up money seems to be pointless. I don't know, Chief. Oh, this is ominous. All quiet here. So where the hell are we? This is weird. Oh. I was gonna... Uh, I'm glad that opened, because I did... Oh, shit! Shit, son. Right, you're done. Oh, okay, we got more ladies. Lots more ladies. Oh, hang on. How many how many stun darts do we have? Three. Well. Okay. We can thin the herd, I guess. Right, well, let's see if we can actually put any of them down. Oh, I can put one down. Guess that's better than none. Two down. Oh, we put two down. That's a small victory, I guess. And we actually killed one as well, which, well, I mean, yeah, that sucks, but it is what it is. Uh, now. Starting to suffer with the old uh, AR ammo. Let's get the M37 back. Are you really stuck? Like, as in... Okay. Okay. Alright. They were stuck, but we did manage to get past. Luckily. There's no vampires here. 
Has the girl changed at all yet? Where are you coming from? What do you mean? Why are you asking about her? Tonight, if Gels isn't sealed back up in his coffin before midnight, he'll come back to life. So what's Misato got to do with this? Hey! Because she's Lady of the Moon and it's his blood that... It's her blood that brings him back. Just a guess. What's this? There's a chained switchboard. If we had something to cut the chain... Oh, right. That's what we need the chainsaw for, I guess. We can't go that way. So now we can potentially go get the chainsaw. Ooh, nice. All right, well, more supplies. Uh, maybe not. In the event of a sudden power f uh, failure at the substation and the connected LPS wing elevator, it is possible to temporarily restore the power supply by starting the substation power source. When starting the substation power source, turn on the breaker switches on the switch panel at the base. Therefore, first confirm that the wires are correctly connected. Switch panel blue wire uses 60 volts. Switch panel yellow wire uses 120 volts. Switch panel red wire uses 240 volts. Electrode wires are arranged a symmetry. Uh, symmetrically. After connecting the wires, turn on the breaker switches. Okay. Yeah, we'll take the drink, I suppose. Right. Oh. Oh. We're, ah, right. Now we've got the actual main gate key. Oh, I guess. Actually, before we go... Can we have a look at that locker? No, I mean, I didn't think we would be able to, but it was worth a look. Something is making a gribbly sound. I don't want to strap this shotgun to his ass. An elevator. There's no power, so it's not moving. No way. So now we've got to go all the way back. Are you actually serious? Now we have to go all the frickin' way back. Ah. Man, they really overdid it with the keys and the backtracking in this game. Like, seriously. Like, Resident Evil, you always felt like, and even with Silent Hill, you always felt like you were moving forwards. Oh, there's more! Oh. Fuck off, love. Alright, Mr. Nice Guys left the building, ladies. Sorry. Mr. Nice Guy has left the building. Right. So, now... See, we've got to go all the way back through here just to potentially come all the bloody way back again when the elevator works. <sighs> there is a lot of back and forth in this game. Like, come on, man. Hey, now we've got a green moon. What does the green moon do? Oh. Oh, mantises. Wait, we killed you. Like, seriously, we killed you guys. Oh, there's another one. I was going to say, there's always two. Come on, buddy. There you go. Fly to my feet so I can blast a hole in your guts. Get fucked. Oh, Jesus. You know, fuck you guys. There isn't enough. There isn't enough. Uh, darts in the game. Save you all. I mean, this is just... It is ridiculous. Like, let's be fair. Because we're just going to start taking loads of damage from these guys. <sighs> I tried. I tried to save them all. I really did. But... Oh, God. You just can't. Keith, 
You're failing, Keith. Come on. Ow. Come on, buddy. Really? Don't you hate it when your shotgun just apparently fires straight through the enemies? We're really injured now, too. Well, we'll have that drink. Okay. So this is why they gave us all that shotgun ammo. Because we need it. Because we really need it. Still a green moon. Like, we're just going to blast everything. The game really... Oh, jeez. Yeah, so the blue moon <clears throat> makes the enemies, or oh, the vampires, quite fast. Oh, there we go. Fuck off. Jesus. Seriously. Oh, God. What was that? Get up, bitch. That's right. Uh, okay. Now, um, is it worth going back? Oh, just give me the map of the area that I'm in. Jesus Christ. Okay, so let's, let's go back and save it. Why are two of the rooms highlighted? Or two of the areas highlighted, I should say. Yeah, let's go save it. And I th think we're going to be basically out of time for this video then. Oh, I didn't... Oh. I like the way we can just infinitely reload. Did you do that a shotgun as well? Oh, that's not a shotgun. Uh, anything new here? No. Doesn't look like it. Nothing new here, boys. Oh, did we check that cabinet? Probably. But there's nothing there. All right. Okay. I mean, we definitely haven't done this in the eight hours that is required to unlock the bonus modes, which sucks. Really sucks. Yeah, I fiddled with my memory cards, and I think I balked it up somehow, so I am going to put a save state. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there, guys. When we come back, we are going to possibly make some more progress. So, till then, guys. Thanks for watching.